Okay, now let's take a look at this uh, particular example, example 4, all right, which is a little bit like a kind of a word problem already. Okay, find the gradient of this curve, all right, so there's a curve, we don't know how this curve looks like, we don't really care, okay, at the point where the curve cuts the x-axis. Okay, now let's try to have some visual. Okay, now honestly, we don't know how the curve looks like, but we don't really care, so just imagine that the curve looks a bit like this. Just imagine, all right, now, obviously the curve won't look like this, but just think uh, just imagine it looks like this we are really interested in the gradient of this curve and uh, what we discussed earlier on the gradient of a curve at every point is a different gradient so but we are not interested in every other point otherwise uh, we will just have to differentiate and that's all okay we are interested in the gradient value at a particular point now aha uh -huh. so at the particular point where the curve cuts the x-axis which means here or here okay so, so in this sketch there there are two separate points where it cuts the x-axis and therefore we expect to have two separate values well like i said this curve is not quite the same as this curve it's just for illustration sake so uh, it's just for you to understand the kind of situation that we are in at the moment okay so what we are really interested in is the gradient at this point okay and perhaps this point as well right since there are two points due to our sketch okay so how are we going to do okay so so this is what we're going to discuss for this particular example okay so since we're talking about the gradient all right we definitely need a machine to help us find the value of the gradient isn't it so the machine being the dy dx so um, like I said uh, when you don't know what to do all right you, you just differentiate and it should be pretty safe that you you know you actually get one two marks out for the questions okay so uh, y equals to this uh, curve and uh, you cannot really differentiate the way it is so we got to split it up okay into two separate fractions okay and at this point I hope you appreciate uh, the the kind of shortcut that we discussed earlier on all right in example two so that you can actually differentiate this in a very quick manner okay so the dy dx will be equal to negative 2 over x square okay plus 2 over right 2 over x cubed Okay, there you go. You see, you can actually do it in one step. So for those of you who are not too sure how to achieve this, uh, you may want to take a look at example two. Okay, so anyway, so this is the gradient machine that we have uh, been talking about so far, right? This is the dy dx. This is the expression that will help me find the gradient of this curve at any point I like. Okay, bear in mind at any point. So now I need to tell this machine uh, at which point am I talking about, right? So I, oh, at the point where the curve cuts the x-axis. Okay, so you need to tell the machine, you need to give the machine the input uh, such that well, when, when the curve cuts the x-axis, what is the x? Okay, because this machine only understands x. So you got to tell the machine, oh, you know what, x is equal to blah, 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 and therefore you give me the dy dx value. Okay, but now we need to figure out what is the x. Okay, that means to say when does this curve actually cut the x-axis. Okay, so we, we don't have the sketch of this curve, but it doesn't matter. All of us should understand that to find the x-intercept for the curve, all we need to do is to make the y-coordinate equals to 0. Agree? So we just have to equate it to 0, let y equals to 0. And we do the cross multiply. We ended up with 2x equals to 0 and therefore x equals to half. So there's only one point on the x intercept. Okay? And, and therefore, uh, at this point, it is x equals to half. Okay? So x equals to half is the point that we're interested in. And therefore, now we've got to tell the machine, okay, when x equals to half, okay, what happened? What is the value of my dy dx? So I've got to input this into the machine. And the machine will work out the value for me. Well, of course, not automatically, I wish, right? But uh, you still got to work it out yourself. Okay, but, uh, well, things will be a lot easier from here on. Huh? Okay, let's take a look. This will be 1 quarter. So 2 divided by 1 quarter is actually negative 8. Right? So um, this will be um, 1 over 8. 1 over 8 times 2, uh, that gives me a 16. So plus 16. So 16 minus 8, that gives me 8. Okay, and there you go. This is it. This is the value of the gradient at this particular point. Okay, and uh, for those of you who are actually curious about how actually the graph looks like and whether our answer is correct or not, uh, if you, with the help of a graphic calculator, let's switch ours here. Okay, graphic calculator, we can actually do a check. Okay, and uh, have a quick look at how the curve looks like anyway. So let's plot in the curve. 
Okay, so it's 2x minus 1, 2x minus 1, okay, divided by x squared. Here you go. So the actual graph looks a bit like this. Okay, and at the point that we are actually interested in, let's see, um, will be where x is equal to 0. So x equals to half, right? So let's take a look, take a closer look. Okay, so this is the point that we are interested in where x is equal to half, y is equal to 0. Okay, so x is equal to 0.5 and you get the y is equal to 0. So we want to check that at this point, what is the gradient, isn't it? So uh, our answer is 8, so let's check if our answer is correct. So we go to dy dx, which is 6. Okay, and we put in x as 0 0.5 and we will get the answer of dy dx being 8. Okay, well, yeah, there we go.